Hello, my name is James Hansen. I am from the United States of America, Iowa, if you must know. Uh, I'm 70 years old, so I think I'm a little older than maybe the average volunteer. Um, and so I volunteered in Quito here for two weeks. Uh, it's a, in America it would be like a soup kitchen or a place that helps the poor, etc. Uh, and uh, I think we're ready for the next question, I think. How was the local baby the coordinator? It was good. I was picked up at the airport uh, right on time and uh, delivered to the, the family for the homestay. Um, also, uh, the man uh, helped me arrange a weekend trip on sort of a last minute basis, which was my fault because I waited so long and it went extremely well. Uh, he's been uh, available anytime I wanted. And so, uh, probably deserves a raise, I think, and so more money. So. What was the most surprising thing you experienced? Uh, I was surprised that almost no one in Quito spoke any English, even though they had it in school. But the uh, cab drivers and restaurants, etc., uh, almost exclusively spoke Spanish. And when I arrived, I had zero Spanish, so uh, that's probably the most surprising thing, I think. What was the most uh, challenging thing you experienced? Challenging? Uh, to survive with no Spanish for the first few days, uh, uh, trying to get a taxi home or ordering in a restaurant or uh, just about anything else. Uh, and then uh, after about four or five days, my Spanish improved enough so I could do the basic things, I think. How would you describe your accommodation, needs, security, quality? Um, our homestay was with, uh, I think, a middle-class family, uh, parents and a young daughter. Um, it was very nice accommodations. I had my own uh, bedroom. Uh, there was room in their bedroom for another volunteer, but none showed up. There were also other bedrooms that could have been available, but I was the only volunteer in the house. Um, the meals were quite good and served on time. Uh, the family was terrific, uh, helped me any way I wanted and, uh, and uh, I don't know, interacted with me uh, most of the day. So I was, I was like part of the family. So. What was your favorite memory of this trip? Well, not quite over yet, so I don't know. Uh, but uh, in general, I volunteered before. My favorite memories are always about the people, the uh, teachers or the coordinator of the family or the people at the uh, volunteer program. It's, it's always about getting to know the people. So, What do you think about the reservation system online? Uh, well, I had volunteered with ABV uh, a year ago, so I was more familiar with it maybe than uh -huh. others, and I had uh, copies of my passport already digitized and everything. And I uh, decided sort of at the last minute, so, uh, I mean at the very last minute, so it actually went pretty smoothly considering I was at the last deadline, so it was okay.